What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video is going to be uh, my review for you guys on the Grip Boost Football Towel 2.0. So first I'm just going to look at my old review, uh, tell you guys what I didn't like about it, what they could change, that kind of thing. Then I'm going to go into the changes that they actually made on it, uh, some of my recommendations maybe for the next version, and some other benefits and that kind of stuff. So, uh, in my old video, the biggest complaint I had was, first off, it felt kind of weird to me. Uh, it turns out I just had uh, something happen with the towels, bad towel. But the new one feels a lot better to me now. There's no kind of greasy feeling at all, so I'm not sure what happened to that one. But this one feels a lot better. Uh, they are still using the same microfiber material. Not a lot of changes there, but with the dimensions, and that's where they did a lot of the changes. Uh, another thing I didn't like about it is how skinny it was. I found it kind of a pain in the ass to use it because you kind of had to scratch it kind of like this and I kind of didn't enjoy that. Uh, I didn't have a problem with the length at all because all my football pants had you know, the belt loop on it so it wasn't a big deal for me. But for some people the length was a problem because they didn't have the belt loop, right? Or they didn't have the belt loop on the outside or something like that so then they'd tuck it in and that made it um, a lot shorter of a towel so they didn't like that. So which they gave you a couple options there, which I will go into later. And those are really the only two big problems I have with it. Uh, it's a great material, the price is good, all that kind of stuff. But now let's dive into it. So the biggest changes they made are all aesthetic changes. The first thing you can obviously see is the length. So here's the length now. The reason they do it this way is so if you have a belt loop, you can have it at this length. Or if you want to tuck it in, you can have it at this length right here. Now, with this Velcro on the back, you can either do it like this and attach it on the inside, which is nice, or you can put it through a belt loop on the inside. So they give you three options there on how to wear it. Uh, we still have the same embossed logo, full length, and yeah. Now the two biggest things which you can see on it are the length and the width. They made it longer by about half an inch around there, so it's not crazy wide. But again, it does, you know, it does make a big difference. Now, this is the length of the old towel right here. The only difference is they have the belt loop right on here on it. Now, with this extension here, it's made that towel, you know, a good three and a half inches longer. And that gives you a lot of different options. So the first big change they made with this towel, uh, which you can obviously see here, is they added another colorway. So before they just had the white version, now they have the white and the black version, which they retail at the same price. No different size, just the color of the material. So this towel is really absorbent, uh, really good for, it's the best for cleaning football visors because it's the most microfiber-like of all the towels. Some of the other ones leave a lot of streaking, but because this one's more microfiber, it doesn't leave any streaking or any fabric, you know, any little threads on it. So this is the best towel on the market to uh, clean a visor with. Now, uh, the biggest thing I found that I didn't like with this towel is still the width. So I, I don't really prefer the long towel, that's more of a skill position thing, Lyman. I kind of like having a shorter towel that's wider. That's why I like the Under Armour and the Nike style towels, where they're like this, and then they fold out so they become larger. So I kind of preferred it to be, maybe if they had another version that was shorter and wider that expanded, right, where you fold it out. I kind of prefer that style. I think that style would be a little better for linemen. So, you know, maybe if they had two versions of it, you know, that's one thing they could do. One thing I do really like about it, though, is still the price point. So this, the old one, was about $10, $10.99, $9.99, somewhere around there. But this is just under $13 now. But looking at the other football towels, uh, they're all around $20. If you look on eSpace, Sports Unlimited, your local stores, they're about $20. Some of you, like Sports Check, you have a markup on them so they can make their money. And on top of that, they also have shipping, whereas Crip Boost offers free shipping. And uh, yeah, so overall, fantastic towel. I really do like it. It's my favorite towel I've used. I just wish they had another version. That was a little wider version of it, you know, it can be a little more useful that way, but overall, it's the most absorbent towel on the market, and it's the best for cleaning visors for sure, and they're finally starting to make a towel that tailors to the skill position. Now I just wish they made it, now I just wish they made another one that tailored to the lineman. So there's my review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to check out this. Don't forget to check out uh, my Grip Boost, uh, the Grip Boost bottle itself. Check out that, and they still offer the 1.0 towel, so maybe if you're looking for just a smaller, skinnier version, you're looking for a super small towel, you can get that one as well. I'll link to their website, I'll link to everything I talked about, and thanks.